respectful, but I'm not hearing, I, I, I'm done. I am not You're hearing arguments. You never, the last time I don't need you, to, I don't need to, Ms. Nitro Pines. The uh, plaintiff is here. All right, and I I'm see Ms. Pines is here, okay. All right, I was really talking to myself for much longer than I realized. All right. This is 23011725 Universal Collections versus Lenitra Pines. Yes, Robert Warner appearing for uh, Universal Collections LLC. P48843 is my number. Ma'am, can you tell me your name? Lenitra Pines. Okay. We've been to court so many times on this case. Yes, we have. All right, so I've already made a ruling that the motion to set aside the judgment was denied. And then we entered an order for installment payments at a, at a very low amount of $30 a month because Ms. Pines indicated she was undergoing some hardship. And I do recognize the facts of this case, um, but then none of the payments were made. So then we set aside uh, the order for installment payments since none of the payments had been made. And it looks like we signed that, I believe, on it looks like on February 15th. We came back in March. I continued uh, the payment plan. And then in July, uh, the, the payment plan was set aside. And now we have yet another motion to set aside the default judgment. And is that accurate? So what is a motion because of um, mistaken identity as far as the person, the person that they served was not at my address. So I was. Miss Pines, Miss Pines, Miss Pines, listen. Yes. I have heard, I have reviewed this file. This case has been in front of me for well over a year. I have mm -hmm. reviewed this file up and down. I have addressed yep. every argument that could be made. We've addressed it all on record previously. The judgment stands. That is my ruling. I, yeah, I've I have already, and this is, no, you cannot. I've already addressed this. Ms. Pine, I've different already, different. I have already done this. We have already had a motion specifically on this issue. I have already no, ruled on this issue. And I'm not going to continue to, to have filings in the court that are identical mm -hmm. to the filings. These are all arguments you made. Arguments that were made Ma last time. It was served at the wrong address. The per it wasn't you. It was someone else. It could have been another family member. Your Honor. And you did not receive notice of it. We've done all of this. Miss Pine, yes, I've been family. patient. I've been respectful. But I'm not hearing. I'm, I, I, I'm done. I am not Your hearing Honor, arguments. Never, the last time I don't need to. So you I don't need to, Miss Pine. Last time either. Miss Pine, see last time either. That's why I'm back in court because last time I didn't have a chance to argue my case because you continued to speak and you didn't let me speak my my part. That's why right. I came back to court. Motion so, is denied. Miss, oh my God! So they served the wrong address. They served apartment six and not they apartment six. They served the wrong address. They served the wrong. They did. Person. They did their form on their form that they provided. They have that they serve apartment six. And he said that I still live there. They addressed it to apartment 6A, my P.O. box. I live at 6A. They serve apartment 6. No. It's We've two different this. addresses, Your Honor. He has it, and he has it in his, in his, this, in his argument that it's two different addresses. <laughs> Okay, I've heard your argument. But it's two different addresses, Your Honor. So he started with apartment six. I live at apartment six A, and he even says in his argument that he served apartment six, and that the PO box is associated with apartment six A, which is my previous address, which is the address I provided proof of motion of eviction, 
to you, Your Honor, and also a picture of me in front of the building of Building A, Apartment 6 through 8, which my items were set outside. That's my address. They serve Apartment 6. They didn't serve my Ms. apartment. Hines, I have heard all of the facts of this case. I understand mm -hmm. your argument. The judgment stands. Okay, so basically the only thing I have to do is just get a lawyer to fight for my case because as a citizen, I'm not going to be heard and you're going to over talk me. And I'm take care so, of Ms. Pines, we've had so many hearings on this. I've heard everything there is to okay, hear. If I'm you want to file an attorney, you can appeal my decision to circuit court. The transcripts on this case are lengthy. You are entitled to an appeal if you want to go that route. I've heard everything there is to hear, and I have made my ruling. But Thank you're not you. listening to the facts that have been provided in front of you. 